Hey, this is Dr. Linda Davis, and today I want to work through Word, and we're going to work through formatting bulleted text as well as numbered text. So we have a Word document brought up right now. I'm going to bring some text in. I'm going to paste some text in that shows the finished result of what we want to do today. And I want you to notice that I've got my margin set at one inch left and right. However, at the finished bullet is at, or finished numbered item is actually a half inch over or 0.5 over from the margin and then I have another 0.5 tab between the one dot and where my numbered text actually begins okay so we're going to recreate that down below so let me hit enter down a little bit and let me activate my bullets. Now it may give me number four, but I'll go in and fix it where it'll start over at one again. So on your paragraph ribbon, you have bulleted text, which works the same way, as well as numbered text. So let me do numbered text. And, oh, it did give me a one. Okay. And one dot and then a little bit of a tab over that's automatically defaults to. So you want to change this. I want this to look like what you see above, which is not quite aligned the same way. So, how do we do that? Well, you go up to Paragraph Ribbon, which can be found on the Home tab as well as the Page Layout tab, just in a slightly different spot, it doesn't matter which one you use. In either case, you're going to go over to that little bitty arrow at the uh, end of the Paragraph Ribbon and click on that. And this is the tools you need to make this happen. So, what I have here, Indentation Left, it's set at 0.25, which means, what does this really mean? Well, you have your margin set at 1, but this is 0.25 further over than the left margin. Then, we have also the hanging indent, or the hanging, yeah, and it's only 0.25 more over, and that's the distance between where your bullet or your numbered item ends, like the one dot, there's a space in there, and that's the space it's addressing, is that space in there before you actually start typing the text. So, to make it look like what I have above, I have to change a few things. So, indentation left, I'm going to change that instead to be 0.5, so let me just arrow up to 0.5 inch, and that will take care of how far it is away from the margin. Then the hanging one, and this is the other choices there, none, first line, and hanging, you want hanging. We want to also change that to 0.5 so that it will look like what you see above. And before we leave this screen, um, we want to address spacing after. You may notice there is a, at least there's one line space between each numbered item. And 6 point is one line space. This goes up in increments of uh, 6 in each one represents a whole new line space more. So, so if I have six point, that's one line space. If I say twelve point, that's two line spaces. Uh, the line spacing, if you want it, should be set to single for what you have within your um, actual parts and pieces there. Also, if this is checked by default, where it says don't add space between paragraphs of the same style, uncheck that because that's going to, if you leave it checked, it's going to mess up your spacing after. So uncheck it so it will honor your measurements you've put in. Now, let me say, okay. Now, I'm going to start typing, and I'm just going to retype what, what you see above, just to show you how, once you get everything set up, it, it, all you got to do is type. I did not have to use any hard returns. I just let the text flow. And it wraps at the same point. Now, I finished the first bit of numbered text. And when I hit enter, I think I gave myself uh, 12 point, which is two line spaces. It just hit enter. It does the extra, it does the two line spaces. It gives me uh, the numbered item 2, the dot, and it tabs it over, and it's ready for me to continue on with the next one. So I hope that gives you an idea of how this works between formatting your numbered text and your bulleted text. And by the way, bulleted text works the same way. Just go home, and if you want bullets, there's your bullets. Okay, lots of choices in bullets, too. You can go look at all the choices. And I hope this helps. Thank you for your time.